Welcome to Avid at IBC 2019. My name is Srijesh Nair. I'm an application specialist looking after Pro Audio. Here, we're absolutely excited to show you the Avid S4 and the Avid S6 side by side. This is the first time we're showing the Avid S4 on a European launch. What's really interesting about the Avid S4 is that it's built upon all of the strengths that we've had on the Avid S6. So we have a few components that are very common between the S6 and the S4. For example, the display modules, the master touch module, the master automation module, the knob module, the joystick module, the post module, they're all common between the S6 and the S4. But where it's different is on the new channel strip module over here. Now, the Avid S4 comes in a few different configurations. There are four main configurations that it comes in. You have an eight fader, three foot wide console, or you have a 16 fader, four foot wide console, or you have a 16 fader, five foot wide console, and you have a 24 fader, five foot wide console. Optionally, you can have one display module per channel strip module, and an extra display module that would be as your master module. Now, let's just look, take a look at some of the interesting things on the channel strip module as well. This, as you can see, is a much more compact and kind of semi-modular section of the Avid S4. What we've done is we've kind of compacted the, uh, the knob module and the process module along with the fader, and this whole thing is one single module. There are certain interesting ways that you can work on tracks on this. So the fundamental way of working on any track on this section is using something that's called a focus. So let's say if I had this track and I wanted to see the EQ on this particular track, I could hit focus and I could hit EQ and immediately have access to the EQ. Or if I wanted to look at, set, say, the dynamics of this track, I could hit focus and I could hit dynamics and I have the dynamics over here. Now, if you've noticed, you would have seen something very interesting. The moment I hit EQ, I have it spill across all of the 32 knobs. When I hit dynamics, I have it across on a vertical four knobs. So that's a setting that you can do within the MTM as well, where you can choose to auto expand some of the functions that you want. You know, as a mixer, I prefer to look at more channels of EQ compared to the dynamics, where I would probably be looking at threshold, compression, and attack, and so on and so forth. Now, the other very interesting thing about this whole section is that these have very common functional workflows between the S6 and the S4. Uh, the S S6 and the S4. So for example, you have layout compatibility. So if you have a layout that's been designed on that, you can bring it over here. Uh, another very interesting thing to note is also on the S4, you have the optional knob module, the joystick module, and the pectoric or the post module over here, which means I still have access if I attention an, a fader, I still have access to what I want to see over there, whether it be an EQ or compression, or I can have two of these as well, depending on how I set the system up. So I can have EQ and compression over there, or I can have insert one and insert two. It's just extremely flexible to work in that sense. It also has, like I said, all of the strengths that come in from the S6 over to here. So you can actually map your knobs onto your faders, you can flip them, you can have individual access controls all over this, and as you can see, the best thing about this, it's also got a beautifully raked design over here, which means that you have very good visual access to all of the parameters here. You can, in fact, also get your display right up to there, and you can see it go up as a single flow. So in a whole way, what we've done with the Avid S4 is we've taken and we've built up on all the strengths of the Avid S6, and we've come up with a compact, semi-modular, intelligent control surface that you can use. The other main difference is also while the Avid S4 M40 connects to eight different systems, the Avid, uh, sorry, the Avid S6 M40 connects to eight different systems, the Avid S4 will connect to two systems. So which means you can decide what you want on, on your configuration, how you want to set it up, or what you want to look for, depending on what you're actually going for in your studio. So that's the Avid S4 and the Avid S6 over here. In fact, we've actually built a complete compact home Atmos, home Atmos mix stage, where we have two HDX2 systems, two control surfaces, one HD native recorder, we have the Atmos RMU, we have the Genlex speakers, all running off one single rig. This is extremely amazing, and if you're here, just make sure you come out to Avid at IBC 2019. Thank you.